Some six miles from this tiny western Colorado town, a unique experiment will be conducted by a joint industry and government team. A nuclear explosive equal to 40,000 tons of TNT will be used to shake loose a great natural gas reserve locked tightly in a formation called the Mesa Verde. At stake is an estimated 110 billion cubic feet of gas per section in place at the experiment site. If the Rulison test shows this gas can be extracted at a profit, it will open the way to recovery of vast gas resources not now accessible. This is a cross-section of the Rulison field. Detonation point is about 8,500 feet beneath surface ground zero. The conventional way to release such entrapped gas is to break up the formation by shattering it with nitroglycerin or to open fractures with liquid under pressure. The Atomic Energy Commission believes a nuclear explosive will prove far cheaper and a great deal more efficient. This is how the device is expected to stimulate gas production in the Rulison field. The energy released by the nuclear explosion will melt and vaporize nearby rock and will fracture the rock beyond to a diameter of about 740 feet. A spherical cavity of about 160 feet in diameter will be created in about one-tenth of a second, or in about the time the shock wave rebounds from the surface. As the cavity cools, the vaporized and melted rock will collect in a puddle at the bottom, and most of the radioactivity will be entrapped here as it solidifies. Sometime after the explosion, the roof of the cavity will collapse progressively upward forming a chimney of broken rock to a height of about 370 feet above the point of detonation. Government experts say the fractures beyond the cavity area are expected to provide flow channels for some of the gas trapped in the surrounding rock. The chimney will act as a chamber where the gas will collect, to be drawn off through a well drilled back into the chimney. After several days' delay because of bad weather, the Atomic Energy Commission this afternoon finally set off that controversial nuclear explosion known as Project Rulison. This afternoon, health officials went from farm to farm, ordering evacuation within a six-mile radius just in case. But some who live near here object, and strongly. You spend $82 million a day on a war effort, you can certainly spend a few, uh, a few thousand dollars to postpone a test for as long as it takes, six months, what do you care? We're not going to run out of gas in that length of time. We hold down the noise so everyone can hear. Officials and civic leaders were to watch the blast from an observation tent six miles away. Not everyone was happy about Project Rillison. About a hundred protesters marched on the observation tent. Among them were people who had long opposed the blast because of the danger of contamination should any radioactive gas escape. Their court protests had failed, but they were still trying to get the blast postponed. They talked with a representative of the Atomic Energy Commission, but to no avail. Everyone got ready, and the countdown began. shook like jelly, there was a muffled sound, and rocks and dirt broke loose from surrounding mesas. In Grand Valley, a few bricks fell from a few buildings. Within minutes, workers were at the site of the blast checking for radioactivity. They found none. Officials said it had been a success. They gathered around trailers at their control point and drink champagne to celebrate. This, this is the site, ground zero, right where we're standing. Behind me is, is our home where we live. We're about 130 feet from ground zero, and we're about uh, 300 feet from my house, so the ground zero actually sits practically in our front yard. There is a well within one half a mile of the site of the ground zero. And back in the early spring of this year, Presco 
was a gas company that had apply, applied for a permit to, to drill within 900 feet of ground zero. You know, and I'm not against gas exploration, oil exploration. You know, this company needs to find what, whatever sources of energy we can find to continue on in the, into the future. Uh, but why come right here on top of a known nuclear blast site and fool around with it and stir it up and drag it out and pollute the air and the water?